let's explore a simple situation where we are going to uh, use impulses and impulse equations. What we have here is two identical blocks, spheres A and B, two identical spheres A and B, each of mass 2 kgs. We'll assume that everything involved here is smooth. And there is a third block, third sphere of mass 1 kg. The radius of this sphere is small r, the radius of this sphere is capital R and the relationship between small r and capital R is small r is root 2 minus 1 into capital R. Right? The two spheres A and B are suspended with light inextensible strings connected to a fixed ceiling. Now, A and B were at rest. C was moving symmetrically downwards. C was moving symmetrically downwards with a velocity of 10 meters per second when it struck A and B symmetrically as shown. This is the state just before collision where C was moving symmetrically downwards with a velocity of 10 meters per second. What happened post collision is A and B were at rest initially but just after collision, A acquired a leftward velocity 3 meters per second and B acquired a rightward velocity 3 meters per second. This is what is given. So initially A and B were at rest, C was moving down with a velocity 10 meters per second symmetrically. Post collision, this started to drift leftwards 3 meters per second, this started to drift rightwards 3 meters per second. We want to be able to find the following. The speed of C right after the impact, 1. The impulse of the string, there is, you know, when this guy hits this, there is suddenly, sudden built up of tension in the string. So there is impulse of tension in the string, we, which we want to find. And then we want to find the coefficient of restitution between A and C or B and C, which is going to be the same because A and B are identical, right? This is what we need to be able to do. Now, <coughs> one thing for sure, as far as A and C, let me look at only one pair because it's the same as looking at the other pair. A is this, which was originally at rest. This was C, which was moving down with a velocity of 3 meters per second, right? Also, also notice that I could find these angles. This angle, suppose I choose as theta, as theta, then would you not want to believe would you not want to believe from this right angle triangle that <coughs> this is capital R and this is capital R plus small r. So sine theta, sine theta is capital R divided by capital R plus small r. Yes or no? And from this, you know, if you bring capital R here, you'll see that capital R plus small r is root 2r, right? So this is r and capital R plus small r as you can see is root 2r so that's 1 by root 2 or sine theta is 1 by root 2 or theta is pi by 4. So all angles involved this is pi by 4 so this angle will also be theta pi by 4 and so on so forth right. Now when C impacts A, C impacts A, it will exert on A, C will exert on A, this is the common normal, AC is the common normal right, line joining the centers is the common normal. AC is the common normal and C will exert on A an impulse in this direction, an impulse J in this direction and therefore A will exert on C, A will exert on C an impulse J like this. This will appear in the free body diagram of C, this J. Now, what else? There is a string. The string will exert on A an upward impulse JT, an upward impulse JT, which will prevent, which will prevent A from moving downwards, which will prevent, see, C hits like this and if there was no string, A would have gone down, but, but the string exerted an upward impulse and prevented the block A from drifting vertically downwards. Now, see all these angles are really theta, this is theta, this also is theta, all of it is 45 degrees, that makes life really easy for us. Now. Let me write down the impulse equation for A. 
the impulse equation for a first of all I could resolve this j vertically as j cos theta and this as j sin theta right and in the vertical direction in the vertical direction would you want to believe that there is no change in linear momentum of way in the vertical direction because it moves horizontally that means vertical impulses must add up to zero isn't it so impulse of tension in the string jt must be j cos theta for sure theta is 45 degrees so if i know j i can find jt impulse in the string also would you not want to believe that it is this j sin theta which causes it is this j sin theta which causes a to move leftwards with a velocity of 3 meters per second so j sin theta causes m ma which is 2 kgs to have a leftward velocity 3 meters per second that's a change in linear momentum of a in this direction so then i end up getting j sin theta sin 45 degrees is 6 newton second or that gives me j equal to 6 root 2 j equal to 6 root 2 newton second and if I plug in j equal to 6 root 2, I get impulse of tension as j which is 6 root 2 into cos theta which is 1 by root 2. That is 6 newton second is the impulse of the tension. So 6 newton second is the impulse of the tension developed in the string. Now, speed of C after collision. What on earth is the speed of C after collision? Say, so let me draw the velocity diagram. See the, as far as C is concerned, let me first say what all is acting on C. See, A will exert on C. A will exert on C a linear impulse J like this. See, this way, let me draw it right here. A will exert on C a linear impulse J this way. Similarly, B will exert an equal linear impulse J this way. Yes or no? right and their horizontal components will cancel off therefore C again will have only vertical motion post collision and again notice that you know all these angles fortunately for us are theta equal to 45 degrees the J sin thetas and the J sin thetas will get cancelled off so there is only a vertical impulse acting on C the vertical impulse acting on C as you can see is J cos theta plus J cos theta which is like a 2j cos theta is the vertical impulse acting on C, right? Now, as far as C is concerned, let's say its initial velocity is how much? 10 meters per second downwards, right? Let's say its final velocity is uh, v1 upwards. Let's say its final velocity is v1 upwards. I need to calculate v1. Now, let me write down the impulse equation for C. Net impulse on C in the upward direction, 2j cos theta. That must be final linear momentum in the upward direction, which is mass of C into V1. What is mass of C? 1. Mass of C is 1 into V1, which we want to find. Final linear momentum in the direction of impulse minus initial linear momentum in this direction see initial linear momentum is mv not this way so minus mv not this way so minus m into minus v not v not is 10 do you realize that m into 10 downwards is the initial linear momentum and in the direction of the impulse it's like minus mv not upwards right so final linear momentum in the direction of the impulse minus initial linear momentum upwards it's m into 10 downwards so that's like a minus m into 10 upwards yes or no so that's like it's 2 j cos theta j cos theta we already know is jt which is 6 so that makes it 12 because j cos theta we have found is jt which is 6 so 6 into 2 12 equal to v1 plus 10 so that gives us v1 equal to 2 meters per second so c acquires a velocity 2 meters per second upwards c acquires velocity 2 meters per second upwards so i know the speed of c just after collision that's 2 meters per second upwards because there is an upward impulse 
playing heavily in the upward direction and so the upward direction prevails and the net velocity of c right after the impact because of the impulse is going to be this yes or no right do you all understand what i'm saying is the idea clear right now <coughs> look at this i want to find e so let for e i need the velocity diagram right let me just draw the velocity diagram before and after impact let me draw the velocity diagram just before impact the velocity diagram is this is c c has a velocity this is theta 45 degrees which is v not equal to 10 meters per second and a was at rest a was at rest right <coughs> and after impact c has an upward velocity v1 equal to 2 meters per second this is theta right and a after impact has a leftward velocity of 3 meters per second and you know this is also 45 degrees so call it theta so e is going to be relative velocity of separation along the common normal divided by relative velocity of approach along the common normal so relative velocity of separation along the common normal i'll take 3 cos theta minus minus in this direction i've taken positive minus minus 2 cos theta Three cos theta minus minus two cos theta divided by right. I have taken a minus c. Then in the denominator, I'll take like a ten cos theta minus zero. So that makes it five by ten. That makes it half. Coefficient of restitution is half. Yes or no? So this was an interesting situation to deal with, and uh, this would give you a fair bit of idea of what to do in impulse like situations thank you so much but i'll uh, hand over a few more situations to you and uh, you'll feel more and more comfortable with it but this much for this problem thanks so much bye